Animals frozen in time finally uncovered. Here are the top five mind-boggling animal fossils. Number five. Amazingly enough, even feathers and hair can be preserved by fossilization. Have you ever wondered what a dinosaur tail might have looked like? There's a fossil to answer that exact question. A 99 million year old fossil, in fact, was found by paleontologist Lida Zing. Surprisingly, it was not found during an excavation, which is typical, but rather at an amber market in Myanmar in 2015. Everything, including the soft tissue, bones, and feathers were able to be preserved. Researchers found that the tail consisted of eight vertebrae and was preserved in 3D with microscopic detail. They were even able to determine the tail's color that had a chestnut brown upper surface and a pale or white underside. The discovery was relevant to the study of dinosaurs in general, with researchers expressing enthusiasm about what new insights could be gained as they continue to look into the amber fossils in the area. Number 4. Here we see an example of a truly fascinating fossil, where we witness an interaction between two ancient animals frozen in time. There are three different animals here, all trying to eat one another at the same exact time. We see a pterosaur catching a small fish, and yet a larger fish grabbing the pterosaur at the same time. How did they end up preserved in this condition? Well, how it probably went down is that the pterosaur was flying above the water. It caught the smaller fish, and as it began to swallow it, another large predatory fish called the Aspidor chumpus jumped out and grabbed its wing, flinging all three of them into the water. But the Aspidor was a little too ambitious. Its teeth weren't able to handle such prey, and they got stuck in the wing as the animal sunk to the bottom of the lagoon, where they died and later froze. Scientists estimate this amazing fossil is 155 million years old. Number 3. This 20 million year old fossil of a flea was found in the amber mines of the Dominican Republic. Dominican amber is one of the best types of amber out there, being able to preserve fossils while remaining practically transparent. So many insects have already been found trapped in this type of amber, but this finding was particularly outstanding. Partly because fossilized fleas are rare to begin with, but upon studying the fossil more closely, a surprising discovery was made inside the flea's body. It had contracted a deadly plague bacterium, the same bacterium that wiped out half of the European population in the Middle Ages, the Black Plague. It's interesting that this type of plague existed such a long time ago. The Black Plague is estimated to have caused the death of 75 to 200 million people throughout Europe and Asia, killing so many people that it brought about social, economic, and religious changes, which ultimately altered the course of history. This fossil is the oldest evidence on Earth of the dreaded germ. Before this discovery, it was thought that it developed millions of years later. The discovery led to a hypothesis that perhaps this disease was an important factor in the extinction of the dinosaurs. After all, the dinosaurs went extinct around the same time this flea existed. Insects truly could have contributed to the dinosaur's extinction, perhaps in combination with more well-established potential causes like climate change, asteroid impacts, and volcanic eruptions. Number 2. Another example of a moment between two ancient creatures being frozen in time is the fossil of the Velociraptor and the Proceratops, which have been preserved for 80 million years. The fossil was discovered in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia by a team of researchers in 1971. Velociraptors are some of the most famous dinosaur species thanks to their portrayal in movies like Jurassic Park. But the real velociraptors were just about the size of a turkey, according to this fossil. As carnivores, they were still dangerous and fierce predators, and their sickle-shaped claws were able to cause serious damage and be used to kill and disembowel their prey. Protoceratops, on the other hand, were herbivores, sheep-sized dinosaurs. In this fossil, we see the carnivorous velociraptor sinking its claw into the herbivore's carotoid artery but the Protoceratops refused to go down without a fight, throwing the Velociraptor to the ground and biting and breaking its arm. But how on earth was it possible for them to get frozen in this state? 
The most common explanation is that there was a falling landmass, like a landslide, potentially destabilized by heavy rain. This landslide caused their demise, but also perfectly preserved them. There is another hypothesis, that instead of a landslide, perhaps a sandstorm covered their bodies. But either way, that's pretty amazing. And finally, number one, nicknamed Sue. This fossilized Tyrannosaurus rex is the largest, most complete, and best preserved T. rex ever found. T. rexes are one of the most well-known dinosaur species, popularized by their media portrayal as the ultimate predator of the dinosaur age. This might not have been an exaggeration. Carnivorous, with a massive skull and a long, heavy tail, T. rexes could grow up to 40 feet in height and 14 tons in weight. While there were even bigger dinosaurs in the dinosaur world, T. rexes were among the largest predators and had a stronger bite force than any other animal on the planet. Whether they were active predators or primarily scavengers or both has been one of the longest debates in paleontology. According to researchers, Sue was 28 years old at the time of her death, which would have been the longest lifespan of any known T. rex. Despite her massive size, she actually reached her peak size at age 19. The discovery of Sue was tremendously significant for paleontologists who, up until then, only had T. rex skeletons with more than half of their bones missing to work with. With Sue, of the 360 known T. rex bones, around 250 were discovered, the most complete fossilization of a T. rex ever. It is thought the T-Rex was preserved by being covered in water and mud soon after its death, preventing other animals and scavengers from eating it. As a result, the 90% complete fossil frame of Sioux helped in developing a far better understanding of T-Rexes and dinosaurs in general. The story behind the discovery of this fossil is pretty amazing. The group of researchers that were looking for fossils at the site were actually ready to depart after finding some bones of another dinosaur, but a flat tire stopped them from leaving. While the rest of the researchers began repairing the truck, Sue Hedrickson voyaged into the nearby cliffside to explore some more and pass the time. This is when he discovered Sue, the most famous fossil of all time. Before we close out today's video, we have a few honorable mentions that didn't make the list. Check this out. This 110 million year old fossil has been considered one of the best and most realistic dinosaur fossils ever found. The fossil was discovered accidentally by miners in Canada in 2011. This particular type of nodosaur was never seen before this discovery. It is very unique. This fossil is not just a skeleton, but an entire, completely petrified body. Even the details of the skin, scales, and pads on the bottom of the feet were visible. And here's another cool fossil, the ancient Burmese lizards. These 100 million year old fossils were found in Myanmar, among the many other exquisite amber fossils found in this part of the world. As much as 12 lizards were preserved in the tree resin, Micro CT scans revealed that these fossils were some of the first geckos and chameleons to ever exist. Because of the excellent quality of the fossils, even details like the toe pads, teeth, claws, and scales were visible. Researchers were even able to make detailed molds of the lizards, and they learned more about how the animals functioned. They were able to conclude that these geckos were able to climb and grip with the help of their sticky pads, just like geckos today. So I guess the evolution of geckos hasn't really changed that much in tens of millions of years. And I had just one more honorable mention. Rhino Hagerahertzi is the oldest known fossilized insect, aged 400 million years. It was discovered in Scotland and studied in the 1920s. Researchers would use this fossil to learn more about the evolution of flight in Earth's history. But anyways, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out some of my previous uploads.